Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the Astrological Update for Sagittarius for the whole of January 2017. I have been running around like a post-Christmas chicken, headless and everything. Um, and I've got people all around the house. So I've come to my bedroom to record this for you because it's very detailed and very important. And I don't want any distractions, but I will be in vision real soon. Anyway, back to you. This m month kicks off and this year kicks off with Mars and Neptune conjunction sextiling the sun and you feel a profound spiritual connection to your home and family and and also if you want to you may have this sudden amazing vision of how to decorate your home or what to do to make your home the perfect place for your soul to grow on top of that the jupiter sextile saturn is obviously full on for you saturn is in your sign jupiter is in your position of connections no boo it's the dog about to bark connections community uh your tribe meeting people and, and collaborating with people you have very very solid foundations for the whole of these this year probably to build up a great crew a great tribe great people to work with and that can benefit you greatly you're laying very positive foundations from the get-go of 2017 now a lot of the energy for you this month is on your home and your family kicks off with venus entering your position of home and family you're most loved up when you're at home you want to see beauty in your home and you are feeling very hopefully positive towards your family or if not at least forgiving now the mercury retrograde is re-entering your sign so it's still retrograde but it goes into your sign this could cause further confusion but not for long because it goes direct in your sign on the ninth and from then you feel super duper it may take three days to kick in but you're feeling super super duper and of course it moves out of your sign on the 13th so you have a window of opportunity between the 9th and the 13th to seal a deal now there is a mystic rectangle if you include the goddesses Ceres and Eris and you have a great experience because we have you're fully in the middle of that and you have an experience of of changing and coming into your power and feeling more grounded and feeling more excited and more positive and actually more uh, assertive when it comes to your relationships on the 12th we have the full moon and it's in a deep place of uh, just in intense power and primal emotions you might find yourself feeling obsessive or jealous or really sensual or overcome by one of those prime fearful you know whatever the primal emotion is and it's very important to let the moon guide you through that light a candle tune in let the moon show you your own power and your own fearlessness and your own intuitive ability we do have a cardinal grand cross which is not making things terribly easy again with Ceres and eris and vesta we have you sort of being pushed and pulled about your power and about money and power and about happiness and power and how you can weave all these things together to have a successful 2017 ah. boo no boo no we also that's my doggy boo barking at kiki outside anyway venus and neptune are conjunct in your position of home and family making you want beauty and peace and harmony everywhere it's also particularly good for meditating at home for having a loving at home and you're feeling somewhat peaceful when it comes to that the grand fire trine with uranus ceres and eris is giving you a very jolly day on the 14th it's making you sparky optimistic excited eager for an adventure very tiggerish you are definitely like tigger on that day we then have the sun entering your position of communication you're enthusiastic with everything you talk about we do have the moon and saturn conjunct in your sign squaring Chiron, on the wounded healer so there are a few family wounds that may come up for you to heal but saturn is supporting you uh, in fact there may be some father issues coming up on the 24th that that need you to just have a double look at that the new moon on the 28th is in your position of communication it's a new cycle you're communicating in a more confident way possibly in a more grounded way it's also the Chinese New Year of the Red Fire Rooster. 
bring us quite a, a feisty year. Now Mars, the pa planet of passion and energy, is going into your position of that joy, happiness and pleasure. Oh yeah, baby. You are fired up to have a good time and you're energised enough to have a good time and you're like, bring me life, bring me happiness and bring me joy. Isn't that a Morecambe and Wise song? <laughs> anyway, have a stunning January 2017. Thank you for your support in 2016. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. I'd love to say a really big thank you to everybody that voted for me in the Soul and Spirit Awards. I was blown away by the response and I'm really humbled and touched to tell you that I won Best Love Psychic, Best Loved Astrologer and Best Spiritual Website. So thank you so much. As you may know, it's not easy to get a reading with me. I do them very sporadically, but I have a fantastic team of psychics who are brilliant. Here's a little one minute, because I know you, some of you have complained about it being too long, one minute video about them. I like to class a reading as an oasis for the soul. I like to think that it's a very individual a feeling. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves. Time out, where we can really spoil ourselves. But they're still quite shocked when you give them very accurate information. When I get validations, it's amazing. I feel integrity is a huge part of it for me because without that, I wouldn't be doing this work. It's about guiding. It's about hope. It's helping people have clarity, I think. I love that light bulb moment. When I finish work, I come off the phone and it's like, yeah made a little bit of a difference. It's hard to feel a year when I read for a client. I love making a difference to people's lives.